welcome to this video on how to use a combo box in Java. My name's Andy Wicks, and in this video I'm going to show you how to set up a combo box, one of these drop-down boxes, and then how to check which item the user has selected. Before I do all the codey type stuff, let me show you the program running. Here we have a combo box, and as you can see, I've set it up so that the second item in the list is the one that's selected. I've done that merely to show you that you don't have to have the first item. When the user chooses one of the options, a message appears next to the combo box. If you choose a different option, a different message appears. And we can even try the third one, and it still works. Well, that's this simple little program. Let me show you the code. First, we're going to set up the variables and controls that we need. As you can see, I've set up a message strings variable that's a set of strings. It's an array. And I'm going to have three items in this. Message 1, message 2, and message 3. I'm then going to set up a combo box called CMB message list. And that is going to be a new combo box that takes in the message strings. In other words, all the items in the combo box are being populated from the message strings array. Finally, I need a J label to show you what the message is that's being displayed. Now let's carry on down. The next bit here just shows how to set up an ordinary GUI interface. This I'm not really interested in, except that down here in combo box example method I selected the index to be 1. Indexes start from 0. So selected index 1 is the second item on the list. I've also added an action listener to the message list combo box. That's to make sure that I can catch whatever it is the user selects. Next, I'm going to add the combo box to the ordinary frame. And then I'm going to add the label. Now when I start, the label is empty. But it's still there. Now let's go down to the code that actually does something. Here, in Action Performed, I'm going to check whether the source of any event is the combo box message list. If it is, I'm going to use a little trick. I'm going to copy what's in the combo box, the original combo box, into a new one, which I'm going to call CB. And then I'm going to check which item is selected in CB. I'm going to get the message from that combo box, in other words, the text of the item, and then finally, I'm going to do something depending on what the message is. So if the message is message 1, I'm going to set the text of LBL text to you selected message 1 and a smiley face. If they chose message 2, I'm going to say you selected message 2, well done. And if they chose message 3, well, the text box will uh, get you selected message 3, a good choice. It's always a good idea with a switch statement to have a default, just in case. Now, in this case, there isn't a way that the user could get something other than message 1, 2 or 3. But I put it in there, well, because I always put them in just in case I do a silly. And that tells me that I've done a silly. So it would then say, whoops, we seem to have an error and a little unhappy face. And that is how this program works. Now let me show you it running again. We have the second item in the message box selected. If I click on message 1, it says you selected message 1 and we get the smiley face. Message 2, it says you selected message 2, well done. And finally, as you would expect, you selected message 3 if we select the message 3 item. 